What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Into the arena we go. Gotta clear out E rank, grab all those OS chips. So, first up, we got Nosak, an independent merc who snuck onto Rubicon hoping to get rich quick. Uh, the funds of others are by extension his own resources. He continues to take on debt with no intention of repayment, as in his eyes, the money was his anyway. This does have the benefit of allowing him to buy the latest in corporate tech as soon as it hits the market. He considers the power of his AC an asset to his credit score. Well, we are about to drop that credit rating into the dirt. I'm curious to see how we perform now. I mean, with the Gatling gun, 10 stack missiles. Evaluation program number 26, entering rank E. Subject AC, bitter promise. Call sign, no Zark. It's a cool looking emblem. Commencing evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. Oh, so they're not vertical. Double tapped. Not sure how I feel about the Gatling gun, to be honest. I'm usually a huge fan of them, but this one in particular doesn't seem to really pack a lot of oomph. Either way, I'll take the money and the OS chips and that dope looking emblem. Never gonna use it, but I still want it. Little Z. A warrior of the Lubicon Liberation Front. As an infant, Z was taken to Rubicon by her parents. Tempted by the promise of riches from coral mining, sought to make an illegal entry to the planet. Only Z survived the crash landing. She came under the guardianship of Uncle Flatwell. And the core of an AC was the young orphan's cradle. She grew up to become a coral warrior. I remember hearing... Wait. Oh, nope, never mind. We're on to Matterlink. Six squad leader of the Vespers. Product of Generation 8 which was held to have advanced the process to the point of rendering all previous generations obsolete, bringing about a new age of augmentation. Reliable track record in the field and reconnect during missions is established as a problem solver. Well, I was going to say that uh, that Z person, I remember some some lore about her when we were gathering, uh, when we were gathering remains. Double pulse guns. Sign, B6, this thing looks link. super edgy. Black with the purple lights. Commencing evaluation. Main system activating combat mode.
Still can't beat the tank and two beefy. Some of these are actually getting pretty nice on funds for how fast you can knock them out. Alright, now on to little Ziggy. So I have a whole idea of like a bunch of different ACs I want to make already. Obviously, I think that's one of the biggest things about this game is just like builds, builds, builds. Um, missile boat, obviously. I'm thinking I'll do like Subject napalm DC. and missiles. Call sign, little Ziggy. And then I want to do uh, Commencing evaluation. my like heavy bipedal pile driver dude. Because he's good. Time, so I do think it's worth manually avoiding the heat overload. Tank kick. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. And who is the last one? I love that just based on this, we know we have 29 arena battles at least. V7 Swinburne. Product of Gen 7. First, receive experimental augmentation using Coral. Substitution tech. Enhanced aptitude as a pilot without the complications. No obvious indication of either efficacy or potential side effects. His fears and doubts turned into an overwhelming paranoia. Interesting. Looks like he might be a, a tetrapod. Arena combat aptitude evaluation program number twenty-three, rank E. Final evaluation. We have very similar color schemes. AC. Guidance. Call sign V seven Swinburne. Commencing evaluation. He's got the missile launcher, so we get to see how useful that is. that's supposed to be but it did not work out for you oh that did So it had the missiles, it had the grenade launcher. This can 
It had a shield. It was tanking a lot of damage with that shield. But there can only be one rank E master. Subsequent playthrough is only 25 a pop. Bleh. All right, let's look at new parts. Anything I get out of that? How much do I got? 245,000? Um, damn, 313. I do want to get a tetrapod set up, but... I also really want the pile bunker. All right, so in terms of OS tuning, we're gonna do an additional charge of assault armor. We already got quick turn. Hmm. Weapon bay. I actually went, I tested these out. Terminal armor, do not like. This thing lasts basically when your health hits zero, you get a shield for two seconds. Two seconds. Pulse armor, not too bad. It's an armor, I want to say it was like 3,000 AP. Um, so in general, I feel like assault armor is going to be the way to go. Alright. We're going to make a whole new AC now. Because I... How do I... Um... Hang on a second. OS. Locks weapon bay. Alright, well first off, legs. I want... Uh, total load. Energy load is higher. Total load, or load limit, 60,000. All right, so we're putting on those. Meleander, I might have to change that out. There we go, okay, this is what I want. So on here, pile bunker, to swap that out. And then on the right back unit, You're after I stagger. Oh, I think I want the other laser blade because that has the charge in dash. Where's it at? I'm not seeing it. Wait, sir. Maybe I have it still? AC design, assembly, left arm unit. I do, pulse blade. Two hits. So the charge on this is nice, but I need the forward charge. So we're gonna rock that. I mean, I don't know, is that excessive though? Right arm unit, we're going linear. And then the back. Tencel. FCS. I don't know, that might be overkill. Having the blade and then the pile driver. I was thinking blade for weaker enemies and then pile. I don't know, I just don't think I need both. If I didn't keep that... Would you go... Should go over? No, I could keep the bazooka on. Or would I want the bazooka or maybe the grenade launcher? The grenade launcher does clap cheeks. Or I could just go pile bunker and then on the 
back unit run the songbirds? Yeah, that looks good. Let's go for a different paint scheme on you. That red and gold kind of look good. Ooh. Let's do that. I'm gonna um I'm gonna remove the, the emblem on it too. And then we're gonna replace you. Assembly. Um We're going to name him Big Hit. Shit, be overburdened with that. Just barely. I might be able to switch something out. My load would be too high with that. So it just has a ton of thrust, which is what I want. Oh, I could probably go for a different generator. Damn, fall short on the EN load with that. Um, slightly weaker, better arms load limit. But I lose a pinch of firearm and melee specialization. Or I keep those arms and instead. No, I'm losing a lot with the core. This is looking good. Now to test it out. The target may be a product sample, but it's still an AC. Stay sharp, 621. I'm thinking big damage going in. If it slows, grenade, follow in with the, the power bunker. <laughs> Finish! Yeah, that was that was pretty juicy. And I wonder how the blade would work instead of the grenade launcher. So this is more of a melee build. I mean, well, I guess in melee, the grenade is probably going to clap cheeks anyway. So we did 84,000 income there. And we'll go right arm, pulse blade, and then back unit, pile driver, and do the same mission. Very excited for hover gunboat. Activating combat mode. We've got a read on the target. Now 
Sloppy. I gotta get a feel for the, the, the swapping between melee weapons. feels I mean it kind of works the thing is melee is a left hand only so Yeah, I don't I don't think that works that well. I think a big thing is so after I after I do the charge attack with the blade there's a small delay and that delay is just enough where I'm like like that's how long it took to swap and then I want to be on top of them to get the hit. I don't I don't think the delay in that swap whereas with the grenade I can fire fire swap. It's a, a big difference in performance. Kill him one more time. Or, well, now we could run through the damn complex. You're, you're worth a lot. Let me try this with this guy. Gun 13, huh? I think that's the game plan. It's like every, every couple episodes, you know, we'll probably have an episode like this where we just try out different builds, test some stuff, kind of build a new AC to play with. I think what the I think that's the quick turn. Because if I'm just if I am cruising If I'm cruising and I try to turn it's that Because that's the quick turn. 
No, that's just me holding back. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, definitely thinking the grenade would perform better. We got one target left. Skipped past one. a really fun mission. I mean, it's short and sweet, but just like, you know, you have that extra MT you could go after, you have that one MT, and then you just blow some shit up. Yeah, after playing that, I think I am... I'll keep it. I'll keep it as an alternate set. But I think the one that has the grenade launcher is going to be superior. So I might actually play with this guy a little bit. Because uh, it's a pretty fun playstyle getting in a bunch and stuff. Uh, or maybe I'll do the tank. I don't know. Either way, we are on to a main mission in the next part. So stay tuned. And I'll catch you then as we continue.